Greetings, everybody, from the desk of uh, Jim Kurtz here at Harvest Harmonics, and uh, welcome to the Profitable Farmer. And um, you know, I just—it's—it's uh, it's very interesting. My job, my job is very interesting because even though I haven't, you know, I'm not a researcher, I'm not a scientist. You know, I talk to so many researchers and so many scientists and so many professors and so many government officials and departments of agriculture. I mean, in the last two years, I think I probably talked to well over 4,000 industry professionals around the world. So I have a very unique perspective in the sense that, you know, I'm not just dealing with one or two people. I'm dealing with, you know, hundreds or even thousands of people. And it gives me kind of a, a unique perspective in agriculture. And um, I think the cool thing about it is I'm not locked into any particular perspective. Like I'm not locked into uh, the idea that you you have to use a certain nutrient or a certain chemical or a certain whatever you know type of seed result. In fact, what we've seen is a little bit counterintuitive in terms of our out you know our reaching out with Kimenasi Plant Booster. You know, um, typically what you see is organic growth, organic organic methods, and regenerative agriculture. You know, when compared to conventional or chem, you know petrochemical based agriculture, the yields are not as high. There's a lot more susceptibility to insects and, and those types of things and, and funguses and disease. And so the, the the business model and the profit margin is a little bit out of whack. Now the the benefit, of course, is if you you know when you make organic food, you'll make a lot more money per pound or kilogram or whatever. But the interesting thing that we've seen with Kimenasi Plant Booster is that with our technology, the organic growers are actually far exceeding the conventional growers in terms of the response. And we've got we've got corn growers, corn trials right now with organic, completely organic growing methods that are growing 14 foot tall corn plants. I mean, we're not, I'm not talking about just, you know, uh, small differentials. And those corn plants have two ears of corn per um, you know, per stock. In fact, let me just show you what some of these guys are, are, are telling us here. I just want to share my screen here with you. So you don't have to look at my uh, my wonderful face <laughs> every day. Um, hold on a second here. So let me show you, let me just share the screen with you. Here. Um, but the organic growers have been telling us that they're getting better results than, than even, they ever thought possible, even on conventional. So um, take a look at this first example. Okay, so this was this is actually a conventional grower. I should, I should preface this, but um, they have paprika peppers. So basically, they grow peppers in their greenhouse uh, for spices, obviously. And traditionally, the greenhouse, you know, the, the lower level peppers will produce one kilogram of peppers per plant in the course of the season, right? And, and then, of course, you multiply that out by how many plants they have, and you get the overall yield. But the Kimenasi, after treating this with Kimenasi, um, they, they're getting two kilograms per plant. They double their production of, of uh, peppers on these plants in the treated greenhouse with Kimenasi. And the grower told us that he was, you know, we thought, you know, we were blown away by the differences in yield. We were blown away by, wow, you doubled your yield. That's amazing. And he was like, no, 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 that's not the amazing part. He said, the amazing part is, we didn't have to spray fungicide. We didn't have to spray insecticide. We didn't have to spray uh, petrochemicals. We didn't have to use these these harsh chemicals to, in, that we would normally do. In fact, that's the first time in 17 years he said he ever had did not have to spray because the Kimenasi plant booster was making these plants so healthy that not only were they more productive, but they also didn't need they didn't have the same kinds of problems you normally see in a greenhouse. Of course, you see in a greenhouse because of the humidity and the heat, you'll see um, a, a very big propensity for bacterial growth, for fungal growth, and for other types of problems. With Kimenasi, you didn't have that problem because the plants themselves have their own natural biochemical response and defenses against these types of things. So that was a, a pretty amazing thing. And again, that was completely natural. Didn't have to uh, spray with Kimenasi. You know, when we and I have a number of different examples. Again, this is a field trial where again he did zero pesticide use here. You know, we got 100% improvement in quality and zero pesticide use on the treated field here. And, and this particular agronomist walks the fields on a regular basis and he checks. He checks what the insect pressures look like, how much, you know, what the thrip count is and what all these different things are. And he didn't have to spray. So um, you have a conventional grower there that's that's migrating toward a more organic a way of growing. So you, you can say, well, he's not organic because his field wasn't, you know, grown that way for for 100 you know for three or four years and um, and so we can't be certified organic but again from our perspective we're trying to help improve the quality of food around the world so 
if you can take a conventional guy and reduce their chemical usage to, to us, that's a win. I mean, that's really the reason why we're doing it. And of course, the organic guys are already producing a lot more. So again, uh, on the treated field here on melons, this is in Brazil. You know, again, 25% increase in yield, but less presence of minor fly. The minor fly pests are basically avoiding the treated field here. You know, again, even in the soil, you see uh, greater artichoke production here with less nematodes in the soil. And nematodes, for those of you guys who don't know, are basically soil-borne pathogens, soil-borne organisms that um, essentially, usually they, they feed off the roots or they, they make lesions on the stems of plants. And of course, that reduces the plant's ability to absorb nutrients and generate energy. So um, by reducing the overall nematode count in the soil, we're dramatically improving the plant's ability to grow and to obviously sustainably produce fruits and vegetables. Um, you know, um, I'll give you some more examples here. I mean, this this one was a, a corn trial we have in, in, in uh, Colombia, but I don't want to show you this one that's getting three times more vigor. I want to show you this other one here. Actually, no, I do. This one, I'm sorry. This is the one that I wanted to, to promote. I, there's another one here where they're going 14 foot tall corn, and I'll get to that in a minute. But um, we have a video on this, and uh, I don't think I'm going to play it here, but this the video basically shows one of our dealers as she's walking the field. And, and these fields were grown 100% organic for, for both conventional and um, and the treated areas. And basically the treated the un, the treated areas, the Kimonasi plant booster plants, uh, which were literally separated by maybe like a, a 15 foot gap here. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. They're producing uh, two ears, or two ears per stalk. Now, this is a, a standard corn variety. Now, of course, for those of you guys who know, if you're growing corn, you're only supposed to get, or only usually get one ear per stalk. And maybe you get that one or 2% that will produce a second ear, but those ears will be small. Uh, with Kim and Aussie Plant Booster, these plants have so much energy that not only they're growing taller, which of course gives them more surface area for, for collecting sunlight energy, but they're producing buds for two ears per stalk. And, and that, if you just look at that, that's doubling production of corn. I mean, that's going to give you 70 to 100% increase in corn. If I can double the amount of ears per stalk and make those stalks grow um, tall enough where they're getting enough sunlight energy, um, then those those corn are going to double your, your yield. I mean, think about that. Because one of the big challenges we had uh, early on in getting adoption with corn growers is the cost of our system, you know, our, our technology being as advanced as it is, the cost of our system in some cases didn't really make sense because, you know, if we got them a, a 10 or 15% increase in yield or 20% increase in yield the way we do with all of our crops on a traditional basis, you know, they're, they're going to make some more money, but it's not going to be like dramatically more money, right? And so they didn't really want to invest at that time. But now that we're running actual trials in universities and proving that these organic corn growers are actually doubling their yield, they're not getting 15, 20, 30% increases in yield like we see on all specialty crops. These guys are almost doubling. They're getting 70 to 80% more yield than, than they were before. And they're doing it organically. So they're not even spraying pesticides like fungicides or herbicides or insecticides. I mean, these corn plants are growing so fast, the weeds don't even have a foothold. And so you can imagine you don't have to spray Roundup all over your corn crops anymore and still get a great yield. I mean, in, in that alone, I think everybody would be cheering if you can grow your corn with it without roundup and these other chemicals but if you can do it and get more yield in the process that's just a win for everybody and that's of course why we're here why we're doing what we do you know i mean i, I can go through some of these but i just want to go through and this is the other one and i'm actually going to play uh the testimonial of this guy in a second this is another corn trial we have going in ecuador and again Seven, this is feed corn, so he's interested in the overall fodder, and, and this fodder corn is getting 72% higher production uh, than the standard field here. And normally they get 45 to 50 tons per hectare, and here he's getting, he's calculating 86 tons. So again, 72% more yield for fodder, for feed, for these particular cows. And I'm going to skip over some of these creep uh, examples and just play uh, this so you can actually see. Um, you can actually see his uh, his testimonial here. Hold on one second. I'm gonna make sure that I can you guys can hear it. Um, all right, I'm actually gonna play this here. My standard audio, and uh, let me know if you guys have any uh, problems hearing this. But I want to play this for you here.
Somebody ringing here, so one moment here, guys. Sorry about that. <coughs> Let's see if I can uh, play. Let's get going here, and I'll play this for you now. <clears throat> all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, just give you the. All right, I'm gonna give you the uh, the output here, so hopefully you guys can hear me hear this. Uh, if you can't, just let me know in the chat, and I'll see what we can do to uh, to help you out. But. <clears throat> While he's talking, I want to just um, I want to just kind of uh, let you know you can read the subtitles here and hear what he's saying because, um, and of course you can go on our Facebook Live and you can see uh, what his comments are. But he's basically saying, look, you know, he's he's about five six, five seven, and his his partner there is about six foot tall, and you see the corn plants behind him with Kim and Ossie, they're doubling height, they're fourteen and a half feet tall. And we wanted to make sure you saw this picture because look, this this picture is basically telling it all, right? And so he's basically saying that he has a, a test field and, uh, and a control field, or they call it a witness field and experimental field. And um, same input, same everything else. And um, with this technology, he's, he's seeing, you know, huge, huge differences. And you can read the subtitles here. But um, he's basically <clears throat> showing how he's getting, you know, four foot tall, 4.2 versus 2.2, you know. Um, you know, four meters, just to let you know, that's that's more than – you know, that's more than uh, 12 feet tall. That's about 14 feet tall. So, you know, he's, he's talking about, you know, six feet tall uh, plants versus 14 foot tall plants, seven foot tall plants versus 14 and a half foot tall plants. And those those back and forth measurements are just basically control versus test field here. So it's not just like we got one or two stocks that were really high. I mean, you're talking about the whole field is doubling their growth rate. And here he's again talking about how uh, he normally gets 45 to 50 tons per hectare on his treated field here. And with Kim and Asi, he's getting it up to, you know, 86 tons, which <laughs> even Gabby uh, here, our, our South America partner, was like, wow, oh, my God, <laughs> she couldn't believe it either. So, um, and again, he's he's basically telling us that he can actually reduce the amount of hectares he he needs to grow the fodder that he needs. So he's happy because he's got four or five extra hectares that he can play around with. They can grow specialty crops. He can add more corn, or do what he needs to do. You know. So again, there's just a number of different examples of different crops. You know, all types of different crops. And um, I'm not going to play Art's testimony here, but um, you know, limes, you know, tree fruit, ground, you know, tubers, uh, you know, even forage, even, you know, watering pastures with Kimonasi plant plants are seeing huge differences. So um, if you're looking for the, the solution that's basically going to in increase your yield, don't look for something that's just going to have an old small bit of the problem. The biggest thing that when I talk to growers that they say is, well, there's no input that's going to give you um, 20, 30 percent consistently. There's just nothing out there that can do that. And of course, we tell them, yeah, because we're a new product. You haven't seen our product yet. Now, the biggest differences that we see is most inputs. You know, let's just take NPK fertilizer, right? Uh, or is he, or it's just a standard nitrogen infusion, right? Let's just say if you're using nitrogen, think about the overall process of everything that plant needs in order to grow and produce more fruit, right? It needs nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, potassium. Uh, manganese, it needs all these different minerals, and then it needs water, it needs sunlight, it needs, you know, consistent weather, it needs protection from insects, it needs all these different things to grow and, and produce a good crop, right? So if you're adding, let's say, NPK, right, the three most common elements, most common fertilizer elements, right, if you add those three elements to your crop, then that means you're handling three elements of a plant's physiology that it needs to grow out of maybe like 30 or 40. So you're handling maybe 10% of what the plant needs to produce a high quality crop. And if you're only handling 10% of what the plant needs, what about the other factors? What about sunlight? You know, what about nitric acid? What about, um, you know, carbon dioxide absorption? What about, 
uh, water absorption and utilization? What about fluctuations in weather and, and temperature? I mean, how are you going to accommodate for all these things? Well, the Kimenasi plant booster, because we are handling the entire system together as a whole, and we're basically reinforcing the ideal metabolism of plants, it's going to take and utilize whatever resources you have available to it and maximize its utilization of those resources. So if you have whatever nitrogen you have in the soil, Kimenasi is going to maximize the plant's ability to utilize that nitrogen. If you have low sunlight conditions, then the Kimenasi plant booster is going to maximize the plant's ability to absorb and utilize the sunlight that it has. Now, there's no other technology on the planet that can do that other than the Kimenasi plant booster. And that's why we're seeing, you know, double digit and sometimes triple digit increases in yield, whereas every other type of input may only give you 3%, 5%, if you're lucky, maybe up to 10%. It's a completely different ballgame. I mean, you have to start thinking with the concept of bioenergetics. Bioenergetics is the future of farming and it's the future of medicine. It's the future of a lot of different um, avenues in terms of living organisms, right? Because when you can handle the bioenergetic systems of an organism, you can actually elevate that system to levels of production, unlike you've, uh, anything you've ever seen. So if you really want to improve your overall health, you have to increase your energy level, right? And how a human would do that is, is good diet, exercise, and of course, a good healthy environment. Plants are not that much different, right? If you give it good nutrients and good nutrition, um, good soil and good water, and then the sunlight is good, and you can help maximize the plant's ability to utilize and, and metabolize those factors, you're going to get good production, and it's going to be consistent, sustainable, and of course, very profitable for you as well. So it's beginning of 2022, and if you're watching this, you're probably thinking to yourself, this is a very interesting technology, but I really urge you to jump on board with this technology this year. Don't wait four or five years till we get all the, the white papers and the peer-reviewed studies and everything else done. We are working on that and we will get that, of course, in the next uh, year to two years. However, don't wait for that long because at the end of the day, you're missing out on probably hundreds of thousands and maybe even millions of dollars, depending on how big of a farm operation you have. Um, and we are doing every our best to make sure that every farmer has the opportunity to be as profitable as you can be this year. So I have a challenge for everybody who's watching this video. If you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, you know, this sounds interesting, but I'm not sure. Give me a call at 727. Let me uh, put my number up here. Give me a call at 727-324-6750. Or you can email us at, at service at harvestharmonics.com. Or, of course, you can fill out a request for quote form at harvestharmonics.com. But give me a call or contact me and, and let's go over your farm and your needs and let's figure out how the Kimenasi plant booster can help you become part of the future of farming today, not wait. Because I guarantee you that you're gonna see results unlike anything you ever expected. And I also guarantee you that if for any reason you're one of the first people that doesn't see a positive result, we will give you the money back. We will actually tell you, you know, give, take our equipment back and give your money back if you are not satisfied. I think that's fair. And I'm not asking for hundreds of acres or thousands of acres. You can start off with whatever size trial you like. But use this on your farm and look at the results on your farm and your situation and watch the way your farm responds and improves. Because everything you're already doing to make a good crop every year is, is doing a good job. But a lot of that effort and a lot of that energy and a lot of those resources are being wasted because the plant itself is not efficient enough to utilize the fertilizers and resources that it has available to it. Kimenasi Plant Booster is making plants more efficient at utilizing the resources available to maximize your overall output for the inputs that you're using. And we can handle a lot of different variables such as you know, quality improvements, quantity improvements, uh, overall plant health, soil health, and various other factors. Um, if you haven't seen our results, please go to our website and check out some of our case studies and some of our videos. We have a number of case studies and videos right now um, on the crops from all over the world. And your crop is not going to be any different. Unless your crop uh, is like a mushroom or something that doesn't use photosynthesis, you're going to see the same kinds of results that you see on our website. And we would love for that for you to be our next success story in your next case study. So give us a call and let's, uh, let's work together and see how you can become part of the future of farming today. And you can have uh, the best year in 2022 that you've ever seen. Hope to hear from you soon and we'll talk soon. Have a good day, guys.